This screencast is intended to give you a brief overview of the My Network tab. The My Network tab gives you access to key management functions on your site. It's accessible for your network if you are logged in as a network creator or as a network administrator. The first thing you'll see here is a link to your network dashboard. This dashboard gives you important statistics about your network, including members who have joined or are waiting to join, along with the content that's waiting your approval. The second area you'll find here is the Members section. From the Members section, you can approve new members, invite people to your network, and perform several other key tasks. For example, the Controls page here lets you establish various settings for your members, including whether or not they must answer a brief quiz before they are able to join, along with whether or not they'll be able to share content from your network directly to other social sites. Under the Members section, you'll find a dedicated area to manage your content. If you have blog posts, photos, videos, or other content on your site, you can set those to be approved by you before they get posted by your members by accessing the controls page here. While the content is pending your approval, it will show on your moderation page. The file manager feature in this area is available to Ning Pro subscribers only and allows those networks to upload customized splash pages for their sites, along with other types of files. Finally, all networks have the ability to archive the content from their sites to keep as a backup. The settings section of this page is where you can change the design and display of features on your network. With the Ning network, you have a lot of flexibility in how your pages are formatted and named, and you'll find most of those options here. A very important page in this section is Privacy, where you can set whether or not you want your site visible to people outside of your network. In the Tools area of the My Network page, you'll find some advanced features for those who are comfortable with a few technical details. If you're looking to create your own Facebook app or enable seamless Twitter integration, here's where you'll want to start. This is also an important area for those Ning Plus and Ning Pro subscribers who want to map their own domain and set a customized web address for their networks. Finally, from here you'll find a link to create your test network if you're a Plus or a Ning Pro subscriber. Your test network is a place where you can try out different looks and features before you implement those changes onto your main Ning site. Finally, the support link is where to go if you need technical help. For many subscribers, we have a knowledge base full of articles in the Help Center, or ask the community for their advice on the Ning Creators Network. Plus and Pro subscribers have the ability to submit a help ticket directly to our technical staff if there is an issue they can't resolve on their own. The last link on this page lets you manage your Ning plan, including upgrading to Ning Plus or Ning Pro. We hope this gives you a good overview of the My Network tab. For more advice or inspiration about how to build up your Ning network, check out the Creators Ning Network or the Ning Help Center.